hey welcome again in this part what we are going to talk about is in this part we will see how to execute our tests in parallel now in order to execute them in parallel we will go to our test fixtures and we will add another attribute called parallelizable and this attribute should be added to all our test classes because that is what makes our tests parallelized we go here and we say parallelizable and we go to uh, third one where we have added login tests and we say this is also parallelizable now what this argument is going to do this attribute is going to do is it is going to make our tests parallel so let's go ahead and hit the build again and after hitting this build let's select the test that we have kind of automated there is one valid login test the second one that we automated was testimonial test which is verify testimonial count so this one is automated add button we automated and valid login we automated so let's right click and we say run selected tests and we see when we give the execution of these tests what is going to happen so we see the one browser has launched and we will see that second browser has also launched in parallel and we will see third browser has also launched so we are what we are witnessing is our three different tests are running in a parallel and this saves us from huge time saving because if we have a powerful machine then we can go ahead and we can run our tests in parallel and we can complete our test pass sooner so this is the attribute that is doing the magic and that will run our test in parallel now one important thing to keep in mind is in n unit 3 they have added the parallelizable support but this parallelism is only for the tests that exist in different test fixtures so right now the tests in testimonial tests are able to run with in parallel with login related test cases but these test cases each individually will not be parallelizable like verify testimonial count and verify question count in array on java these tests cannot run in parallel so that support is being built and hopefully we will see in the next release of n unit and that will be coming out very soon so awesome with which uh, with this thing we are able to achieve our uh, test execution uh, in parallel and that is what the goal of this series was that we wanted to execute this test in parallel now one requ uh, more request that I got from candidates of this batch was uh, people wanted to run these tests with multiple browsers so uh, that I will see if I get time in next week I'll be recording that part also and putting along with this so that if there are three test cases we want to specify a test matrix of browsers and we want to run with all those browsers in parallel then how do we achieve that so thanks for watching this series of running selenium related test cases in C sharp with n unit in parallel so that's how uh, that's where we conclude this for now Thank you all for watching. See you again.